hi 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 it's Tay here um, and in today's tutorial I will show you um, a case study of a third-party authentication uh, which can be called as the social media login for a business analyst and without further ado let's jump right to the tutorial um, so first off let's talk about the service that support the social media login so um, a common uh, some common that you may know is the Google, Facebook, Twitter, um, and WeChat, and we also have the Apple email login. And you can check out the 40 other service in the link here. Okay, so I put the Notion um, note here down in the description box below, so you can go and check that out. And here uh, I have uh, make the Apple email info because this one is a little bit different. Um, so all of the Apple devices um, require the social login to include the Apple email login. So for example, if your customer want to have like Google and Facebook on your Android, but on the uh, Apple devices, the Apple email um, social login should be included as well. Um, and next, and some for some other platform, for example, WordPress. Um, you don't need to like implement the whole thing but uh, you may rather install the widget um, according to the services you want next is the demo ui and the flow so here are um, a demo ui that i show you so this is the app that we have been working on since the first tutorial um, so there are the three button here and click to the button will open the respective form uh, and you may authorize to log in through that uh, social media and this is the social login flow okay so you can check out the tutorial to show you how you can draw uh, this type of flow in the tutorial 7 I guess uh, so the flow would go like this so at the start you click the social media button here and it will open the list of the accounts that are available on your phone and you click uh, select an account and you authorize using that account and then it will successfully log in okay so next is the data field that can be um, extracted via social media. okay so um, the data is varied and you may consult the customer uh, to get the necessary information so some of the field um, that you can get is the name so the first and the last name the profile photo the gender the location the profile url and the email so this is an abi that i took from google uh, i have sorted this one for reference so you can get the sub the name the given name the family the profile pictures the email and the um the, the domain of the email as well um, you may need to check the official documentation and the checklist um, to give the recommendation for this one. For example, if um, your account only need the name and the uh, phone phone number, you only take that few. Uh, but if you want to have like the, um, the 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 profile pictures included, uh, you may uh, include the pictures in the ABI as well. Um, so next is um, the things that need to do for each platform. So you will send this tutorial for your customer to uh, finish it off before this one can be implemented. Uh, but the, disc the disclaimer is that you need to confirm this one with a checklist. So um, for Facebook, uh, but the normal flow is that um, you s send the uh, link for the customer to set up the account. So normally it would be a developer account. Next, they would create a project on that platform with the name maybe the same as the application name, and then you add the uh, developers as uh, the developer role uh, of the of the developer who would do the job to the project, and that is good to go. So that is the things that your customer need to do before the implementation. So next, uh, we take a look at the effort needed for the implementation. Okay, so this one, so that you can, you, you, you need to know this 
so you can break down the task and assign the task for the developer so uh, for the api developer uh, they would need to register and configure the service uh, they may submit the form uh, of the application to the service if required for example you they may need to uh, classify the category of the application and the necessary information like who is the owner uh, and the phone number of the owner of the app um, if there are any disclaimer who will be in contact um, the third is that uh, the set of the scope of the social media which data field which is the data field will be used for the implementation um, the default option um, and the both and the guest api for the mobile and the front end app dev um, and the task for the mobile and the front end, front end developers um, uh, to create the button in the UI so uh, they may only need to um, create the UI the button and attach the button to the login event because most of the social media uh, they will hand they will provide you with a form so that you don't need to um, involve in the implementation for example here for the PUPG game so they may need to only implement the button facebook here and when they click to this button um it will um, open the form which is handled all by the facebook and the only thing left is they authorize using this button and then uh, it will go directly to the game um so next is um how you can set up the feature list and the wps um, for the social media authentication so this one is how i um, implement to handle all the case so the sign up and the sign in uh, <laughs> actually this one can be merged into one um, so but the thing that you need to take note here is that uh, for the note uh, here you may need to uh, provide the detailed information of what um, listing needed for this uh, implementation and also the assumption um, to avoid any confusion confusion in the future next is the prerequisites which is the groundwork need to be done before the implementation so for the pi uh, you may get your customer to create the account on the respective service um, because it takes time to review for example I remember once I um, handled the WeChat implementation and it took up to month so you need to do this one first um, and then get the uh, customer to invite the developer to the service and some will create we will require the landing page um, to implement the service for example when you submit the form to the wechat it will require the landing page and the landing page also need to include a lot of information about the corporate that is operated for um, where it can contact and uh, some of the screenshots of the application because uh, they want to mitigate the chance of scam and information theft the next one is the BA's task for the requirement clarification. So this is some of the fields that I list here. Um, so you need to pay attention when you start clarification um, this um, task. So the first one normally I would add the data field I needed when implementing. For example, if your app is like the delivery app, you may need the email and the profile image and the phone number as well. Um, next is the authentication token period so how long the login will last for example for the uh, for a normal app it may last until you manually log out of the app but for some app application for example the trading app um, normally you may limit um, the login period to two days or three days it depends and the third one is the default language for the login to social media form um, because when they open the form, um, the language will be handled by the um, the Facebook and the Google itself. Um, so you may need to ask this question. Um, next is the social 
login come with the OTP login. Uh, <laughs> this one, um, I erase this one because, for example, uh, for Twitter, it will it won't provide you the email of the Twitter account when you log in through Twitter. So you may need to have like an OTP um, authentication to verify the email of the customer uh, through the type of implementation. Okay, and some other flow may cause conflict within the app. Uh, so for example, as I raised before, some um, provide you with the profile photo as well. But um, if you have like the update the profile, the profile image, inside the app you may ask uh, which one should be used to avoid conflict okay so one of the, the last thing here is the integration with OTP login okay so um, the problem here is that some service will provide you with all the information you need as they raised before with the Twitter case or uh, when you sign up th through Google email it won't provide the phone number associated with the account and so you may need the verification for a certain feature for example, the food apps that we have been working on, it may it will need the phone number to reduce the spam cases. And for the contacts boy, when the customer uh, want to order um, their food, and so for the solution here, you will need to have the OTP login to verify the user. So here you can check out. Um, at the start, you log in via social media, you authorize the login, and you insert the mobile and the email, and then the service will send the OTP through that mobile and email, and the user will insert the OTP, and if it is successful, it will lead to the um, successful screen here. I mean, as some communication here <laughs> is that you may, uh, I, I would suggest like twi Twilio, SMS sending, but you may check with the ticket and the pricing fee um, to discuss more with the customer. Okay, um, okay. So here is an example of the flow I will show you. So I just press Facebook, and then okay, okay, and I just press Facebook, and then after it has been successfully logged in, it will open the OTB where you insert the um, your mobile phone and then you insert uh, the mobile phone so this is a random mobile phone and then I uh, insert the OTB and it will uh, successfully log in okay uh, so that is the flow and some complication you need to discuss with the customer so the first one is that uh, the phone number can be used for multiple accounts and can two social media accounts be merged through a phone number uh, and <laughs> um, another case is that sometimes when you ask for the OTP to get the phone number the, um, I, um, the app store review team would ask you the reason why you need information and this is the email that I send them when they ask me this one so you can refer from <laughs> this one if uh, it happened to be the case for you um, yeah so this is the case study for the third party authentication uh, for a business analyst um, so from this one I hope that you can know the basic ideas of what this is how to divide the task uh, how to break this one down and the cases that you need to uh, take into consideration when um, clarify this type of requirements. So I hope you learned something new today and make sure to like and subscribe to support my channel. I really appreciate it and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.